All right, joining me now live on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange is Zillow CEO Spencer Raskoff. And Spencer, I know you have a pretty big announcement where someone could win a $1 million prize. Yeah, this estimate is a really accurate uh, computer model about home values, but we think others can help improve it even more. So a year ago when we launched, these estimates had a 14% error rate to now today a 5% hmm. error rate. The Zillow prize allows data scientists, um, computer engineers, statisticians, economists, anybody to compete. If you can beat this estimate and prove it, then a million dollar prize at the end of the contest. Details at Zillow.com slash prize. A lot of fine prints, of course, mm -hmm. but I'm excited about what creativity and innovation that could unleash from others working on this same problem that we've been working on for 10 years. All right, but this estimate also includes artificial intelligence. So what do you need humans helping you out for? <laughs> well, you need humans to type to tell the robots what to do. So, I mean, you're right. AI has dramatically improved this estimate and cloud as well. So, you know, 10 years ago, the, the computational power that was going to this estimate was, I mean, it was just on a couple dozen servers that we owned. Today, it's all in the cloud, so we're able to use thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of computers, millions of, of different models, and that burst computing on all these interconnected cloud machines uh, dramatically improves this estimate. I mean, the role of AI, very, very, very important. So we were an early leader in AI you know, five to 10 years ago, but so much has happened with voice recognition and self-driving cars and so many other AI technologies. We think someone out there is working on something that, um, that has a technology that can be applied to the Zestimate challenge, the Zestimate problem, and they should participate in this contest. All right, aside from the $1 million prize, do they get a job if they do something really <laughs> cool? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> we hadn't thought about that. I guess I thought the $1 million prize would be, would be a better, um, you know, better, uh, uh, better motivation, but you're right. Sure, yes, uh, they also get a job. Okay, Absolutely. that's breaking news here on the street. <laughs> breaking a news job the if street. you win the, the yes, prize. Yes. Um, <laughs> the other thing I want to say is, is anyone who, who's sort of living under a rock and doesn't know what the Zestimate is, you can basically go to any address and it'll tell yes. you what it's worth. Yeah, I mean, the, the idea of this estimate is we have a computer opinion about every home in the country. So, you know, my house is on Zillow with this estimate, your house is on Zillow. You know, everybody's house has this estimate. And um, it's really valuable. It's useful for buyers and sellers, but it's just a starting point, right? It's, it's an estimate. It's always going to be somewhat imperfect, even with, you know, even though I expect this prize will improve accuracy more. more um, it's always going to be a starting point, a real estate agent, or is always going to help you be more accurate. And honestly, what a house is worth is what a buyer will pay for it. At the end of the day, that's what a house is truly worth. All right, and we should just note that there is a class action lawsuit against the accuracy of this estimate. Uh, so there is a lawsuit. I mean, prominent companies always get sued all the time for everything. Um, it's There's no merit to the lawsuit, and I'm confident that it won't be an issue. But um, it is true that, um, you know, Somebody has sued us. All right, well, we just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Let's also talk about housing prices while you're here. I mean, sure. when you look at the market overall nationwide, it's really hard, hard to believe that there was a recession 10 years ago. Yeah, we're back at peak value. So home values peaked in 07, huge recession. We're back in a lot of cities past peak. Now, the good news, before you start saying, oh, this is a bubble, you know, the, the good news is, the last peak in 07, 08 was built on a, a foundation of sand, and that sand foundation was a credit bubble. About 10 million people got mortgages that really shouldn't have gotten mortgages. Today, the reason we're back at peak value is not because of a credit bubble, it's because of an inventory shortage. There are just not enough homes out there to buy. Uh, the, the existing home sales data came out today. It was down month over month. It was barely up year over year. Just not enough inventory. It's a seller's market. Um, if you've been thinking about listing your home, now is a good time because there are a lot of buyers. Buy, buy, you know, demand far exceeds supply. All right, now the Federal Reserve is of course looking to raise interest rates two more times this year. Does that help the market in, in the sense that it gets people who are sitting on the sidelines to kind of come in and say, let me buy a home, get a mortgage down before it becomes too expensive? You know, mortgage rates have been so low for so long. I, I tend to think that most uh, most of that behavior has already has already worked its way through the system. So we don't see much impact right now at, at mortgage rate levels that they're at um, with respect to housing. In fact, even when the Fed, if and when the Fed raises rates and mortgage rates go up a little bit, we don't think it will impact housing very much right now. Um, can you give us your opinion on the millennial home buyer? We know they've been a little bit late to the game to really pull the trigger. Late to the game, but they're at the party. So um, you know, millennials now make up around I think 46% or so of all home buyers. So they are a huge part of the market, the biggest demographic, believe it or not. So it's not true that millennials don't buy homes. They do. Um, th and actually, we just launched a new brand called realestate.com. It's another uh, uh, brand inside the Zillow Group family of brands. Realestate.com focuses exclusively on millennial home buyers. And one of the ways they do that is they let home shoppers, millennial or, or otherwise, um, shop by down payment and monthly, um, monthly cost. So if you think about it, I mean, it's pretty abstract to say, oh, I can buy a $200,000 to $250,000 home. Like, what does that really mean? Most people know how much money they have available for down payment, how much money they can borrow from their parents, and how much their rent is. 
And so realestate.com is the only real estate site that lets you actually shop the way most people think, which is down payment plus monthly. And there'll be other initiatives that realestate.com launches to focus on millennials. That's the first one. The site's been up for about a week. And is the rule of thumb still 20% down on a home? Um, yeah, there's not even any rule of thumb anymore. But yeah, for, if you want a 30-year fixed, then you're probably going to need 20% down. But there are FHA loans that are one something percent down. So there are a lot of creative ways to finance. A good advice to a home buyer is get pre-approved. Basically, you shouldn't even really start thinking about shopping for a home before you talk to a mortgage lender. Um, and you should research that online. Um, and you should also research hiring a real estate agent online. You probably wouldn't go to a restaurant or book a hotel room without reading reviews. And you shouldn't hire a real estate agent or a mortgage lender without reading reviews. All right, and before we wrap, it is college graduation season. So do you have any advice for uh, the class of 2017? Um, I guess my best career advice for a graduate would be um, when you're in a job, look at the person 10 years your future. So um, you know, think to yourself, do I want that person's whole package there, not just their compensation, everyone always looks at compensation, but, but their job, their title, the respect they have in the community, the type of work that they do, their work-life balance, their relationship with family and friends. If you don't want that to be your life, well then switch, you know, switch careers, switch jobs. I know that's, I've done that several times and um, it's, been really, it's been really valuable for me. All right, some great advice. Spencer Raskoff, CEO of Zillow, thank you for joining us. Thank you.